Hello there, ladies and gents, guys and girls. Welcome back to episode two of the Langefni Rags to Riches playthrough. We're in season three of our journey here at Langefni. Potentially, I say potentially loosely, fighting for maybe European football this season. Who knows? We could potentially get there if we can finish in the top six. But the first job is to finish in the top six. And this league is going to be very difficult indeed. We did play our game off camera, like I said. We managed to get a 2-0 win with Joey Hughes scoring a 12-minute penalty. For some reason, he stepped up, was like, yes, boss, I'll take this penalty and put it away. And James Sprouse getting on the score sheet in the 27th minute. I think really we're going to need to make our home a fortress and get as many points as we can at home. And anything that we get on the road is just going to be a bonus. We really are a small fish in a big pond. But if we can make our home ground our fortress, pick up as many points as we can, I think we will be safe. And I think we can still stay in this league. But it's all going to come down to what points we can pick up away from home. We've also brought in a new addition to the squad, a Rowan Davies. He's a 19-year-old centre-back. He's been brought in to join the club. He is a four-star centre-back, so he potentially may replace Couchman or Williams. I just think we need a little bit more quality at the back. We've got our game against Newtown. We are away from home. They are, however, bottom of the league. They've played two, minus nine goal difference. That potentially bodes well for us, but we will have to wait and see what happens. So without further ado, let's get the intro rolling and let's get the game underway. <laughs> Here we go. The team sheets are in for the game against Newtown away. We've got Jack Davies in goal. Felipe Edmonds, Mike Williams, Jamie Couchman and Joey Hughes in defence. Finley Goodridge and the Bulgarian Brute Heijman in midfield. Hopefully he can have a big game for us this afternoon. Max Moore and Math Howell on either wing. With Luke Evans in just behind James Sprouse providing the support and the link up between midfield and and attack. Let's get into the boys and let's see what we can do here. Every game at the minute, it's the pressure's all on them. We're, we're not meant to be here, clearly, because we are dibbed as probably the worst team in history to have ever been in this league. I mean, we, we can only do what we can do. So I think assertively, we're going to say we're the underdogs today, but that suits us, which it always does. In the previous seasons, when our backs have been up against the wall, that's when we've done best. We're the underdogs today, but that suits us. Go out there and cause a few surprises. No one really cares. They're all composed, which is, I suppose, good being composed. But I would have liked a bit more, a bit more motivation between the squad before this game. So kickoff is underway here. We will always have the initial highlight that really means nothing. There we go. That ends. But I'm really hoping we can try some way, by hook or by crook, try and finish in the top six. We've got a dangerous free kick here. Or oh, Parry just puts that over the crossbar. If we can finish in the top six, then we know we're safe. When the mini leagues then get formed, we know we can't get relegated. We could lose literally the rest of the games for the whole of the season and still stay up. That's how valuable it is to finish in that top six. But we're going to have to play well to get into that top six. And playing like that is not going to get us there. And this is why we've brought the other centre back in. Why have we been beaten like that? There's literally no danger at all. Look at that. Couchman just stands on him and doesn't react in the slightest. And the keeper... Oh, Jack Davies doesn't really bask himself in any glory either. Well, 1-0 down already. What can Luke Evans do here? Not a lot. <clears throat> Tries to shot. Keeper's read that all day long. Here's another ball over the top. Thank God Edmonds deals with it. Williams into Edmonds. Moore. Evans. Sprouse into Moore. Ooh, just goes wide. Keeper manages to touch that just past the post. Out for a corner. What can Evans do from the delivery? Straight into the goalkeeper's hands. What a surprise. What a surprise. We're going to encourage the boys. Sprouse on to Heisman. Oh, I thought that was going to go in. I thought that was bending in. Just goes wide of the post. We really need some some bit of inspirational parries here on the free kick. Of course it goes in because Jack Davies is absolutely shh. Awful at saving free kicks. Every time there's a highlight from that sort of distance out, he, they score. And Jack Davies doesn't save it. 2 0 down. Oh, and there's a ball over the top, and they're through again. But luckily, oh, he hits the post. Right, we need to make some changes. Big time changes. We are disappointed in that. 
I want to see a better display in the second half. And also, I'm sorry, Mr. Williams, but you're coming off. Rowan Davies is coming on. No one's really had a good game, have they? They've all been a bit crap, really. Oof, this is the problem. I need Really, I need to go and get some more players in, to be honest. Barlow there? No, I don't want, I don't want to bring Barlow on. I think we're going to have to bring in a couple of more players if we want to stay in this league. I think we may need to bring in another goalkeeper. Because Davies is only two and a half star. And I don't know. It, it's he He's playing at a north-south division level. And really, I'm going to need a better goalkeeper than that. That's something that kept us firmly in it last season. But this season so far, we've not been great. Not been great. They're just playing it around nicely. They haven't got a care in the world right now. They can take as long as they like. We just can't even get possession of the ball at the moment. This is... We've gone from being this amazing passing unit that holds the ball. I mean, the stats show that we're still dominating the position, but we're just not making it pay off. At all. Parry's in again. Jack Davies parries it away. The RNE there. Long goal kick. But we just don't... Our long goal kicks just don't do what their long goal kicks do. Their centre-backs are much better. Jack Davies tips that over to the crossbar. And it goes out for a corner. Delivery in. Gets cleared away. Let's go on to balanced for the last 20 minutes or so of the match. More into Evans. Into Heishman. Sprouse. Oh, Goodridge is there. What can he do with it? Gets it to Moore. Mm, there, he's offside anyway. Why did you pass it back to him, Moore? He was clearly offside. Harry. Long free kick. Surprised that didn't go in, to be honest. If it was on target, it probably would have. Couchman into Goodridge. Heishman. Sprouse. Oh, long driven effort and it goes in. Just creeps under the goalkeeper. Can we get another one to salvage a draw? This was a fantastic goal. Heisman lays it off to Sprouse. Just pole drives it right into the bottom corner. Keeper just couldn't get down quick enough. That's the one good thing. Sprouse has been performing well for us. But we've been leaky at the end of defence. Oh, here we go. Get rid. Oh, nice. Couchman puts his body on the line there. Goodridge into Sprouse. Can he get a second of the afternoon? He can! We've brought it back to 2-2! Two -two. Who would have fought it at 2-0 down? We was playing absolutely shocking. But the boys have finally woken up in the last 20 minutes of the game. Sprouse was through. One-on-one. -on -one. Goes round the keeper just enough to make the angle tight and slots it away into the back of the net. Can we go and move on for a third? Or are we going to concede a third? Potentially is more what I should have said. We're going to keep it unbalanced. We've got three minutes left of the half. Oh, dangerous free kick here. Gets rid. Here we go. We're on the break. It's, it's four versus two. What can we do with it here? Howell. Raise the ball in. Oh, we can't get to Sprouse. Oh, lovely tackle by Edmonds. What a tackle. Evans into Moore. Goodridge. Edmonds. Oh, Howell was coming in, but the defender deals with it well. They clear it. Davies comes in. Gets rid of the danger. Goodridge. Moore. Oh, long range effort. Goalkeeper parries it away. It goes out for a corner. This is probably going to be the last kick of the game. Evans with the ball in. Can he get a better delivery this time? He can. Oh, oh. Sprouse pushed one of their defenders. I thought we had a penalty. Never mind. They were offside. And that's it. That's full time. 2 2. Well, considering how we felt at the start, it wasn't that bad. It could have been better. I think if, you know, in them last 20 minutes, if we had that sort of drive throughout the whole game, we would have we would have won. But we'll take what we can get at the moment, especially it's away from home. So, you know, every point, like I said at the start, we can get is better than nothing, I suppose. If we look at the numbers, we should have won that despite the result. Trust the process will be successful if you keep it up. I'm going to say I'm not going to go with that. Open arms in praise. I'm so proud of the work that you put in to salvage something in the second half. Well done. Your team performed notably better after the half time. Just what did you say to them at the break to bring about that change? I just told them I wanted to see something different, to be honest. I told the players to believe in themselves and keep working hard.
There was some bafflement amongst supporters that you seemingly refused to substitute Math Howell. Despite his clearly below par performance, what is your response? He's part of the team and that's the most important thing. Rob Parry scoring a free kick from the edge of the area, which hit the inside of the post before crossing the line against your team today, was particularly impressive. What did you make of it? I hated it because we always concede from them. I don't want to comment on individuals. Stop asking me questions about other team. I'm not going to answer them. We rescue a late draw, which is fantastic. Davies come on and made his debut. And to be fair, Davies come on and we were solid at the back. So mm, I don't know what that means for the future of Mike Williams. One thing I forgot to show you at the start, with the extra wage budget that we're not using, because we're still we've still got about well, about £1,500 that we're not spending, give or take. I thought I'd get us a scouting package. So we're scouting the JD Premier and the North and South Leagues. Just so it brings us more scout reports in. So we can have a look at some players that potentially are out of contract. Or people that we could potentially buy uh, and improve the squad. And I thought, if we're not using the wage budget. So rather than it just going to waste, might as well bring that over to transfer budget then move the transfer budget over to scouting budget and then see who we can find so we've got quite a lot of reports here four players I found 429 players from doing that we can see how how bad this team must be in the jd welsh cup that we're playing they're 100 to 1 to beat us 100 to 1 worth a quid i mean i probably shouldn't say that but because when we're odds on, we know what happens. I'm probably going to rotate a lot of the squads. So here we go. Let's get the team selected. And really, I think it's going to be a good game for just rotation. I think Rowan Davies will start for us, though. Just because he's not... Just to get his match fitness up. Obviously, he's coming late. He didn't have pre-season. So I think he's worth playing. Steve Jones can start in goal for us. Lois Owen can start up top. We can have Westlake McCauley, which we're just going to call Westlake just for the purpose of it being quicker and easier. He's going to start at right mid. He was one of the youth team that come through earlier on. We're going to give Barlow a run out. We'll probably bring off Howell as well. Then again, he's not been playing that good for us, so it might be worth keeping him out there to give a run of games. He's never playing for us ever again. William Hughes, I mean, he done well for us, didn't he, when he was had to fill in that void last season. So let's put William Hughes onto the bench. John Gwynn can start as well. Let's bring off Heisman. Realistically, let's rest Felipe Edmonds as well. Put Rob Parry on for Felipe Edmonds. We've got so many youngsters in the squad. <laughs> so many. <laughs> that really don't need to be here. I really need to sort this out and just move them back to the under-19. I think we'll keep the big guns on the bench. We do need to bring a centre-back onto the bench, though, just to be safe. We'll put... Graham can start as well, actually, because Graham's not started yet. We'll put Graham on. We'll keep Couchman on, because I want them two to form a good bond like he has with Mike Williams. And then we'll put Williams on the bench, who... We only get five spots on the bench. This is... Ugh. Luke Evans can sit out. So we've got Williams, Heisman, Max Moore, James Sprouse and Jack Davies on the bench. A good bench. Right, let's get that submitted and let's get everything out. Everyone is struggling and lacking in match fitness. Well, we know we're at the start of the season. Let's go to the match. Let's have a chat with the boys and let's get them motivated into this next game. Uh, pump fists. We're the favourites and we should be winning this comfortably. We are. There's not really anything else to say. Are you hopeful of a performance today? I know what we're capable of and I believe we will do well. Felipe Edmonds isn't in the squad today but isn't injured as far as we know. Why is he out? He's been rested. I've rotated the team for this match as one of the matches he's not involved. How is the mood in the camp right now? We're in a great place. So let's get the game underway and see if we can progress in the JD Welsh Cup. Realistically, this should be not a whitewash so to speak, but it should be a game that we should easily win, even with the players that we've got out there. We've rotated the squad a lot, and hopefully they can just put in the performance, get the round. Goodridge is here. Ooh, one on one straight away, 30 seconds in. Keeper makes a good save. One minute played. Let's see what we can do here. They're on the big, long goal kick from their goalkeepers. Couchman deals with it nicely. Goodridge into Owen. Owen's there. Fantastic. 1-0 one up. One minute played. I can't ask for more than that from the Second string team, really. There's a couple of stars still in there. Goodridge with the ball. Absolutely pings that. Owen's on his bike. Gets through. Bang. Straight in the back of the net. Six minutes played. Another highlight here for us. If we get a tremendous amount of highlights, I'll cut some of these out. 
because it's only seven minutes in and we've already seen four highlights. 19 minutes played. Davies deals with that nicely. Doesn't get dumbfounded like Mike Williams has been in the last few games. Couchman, Goodridge. The Langefni fans are loving it and Ole in. Well, let's remember who we're playing against. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Owen, ooh, just tipped over the crossbar. William Hughes here with the delivery in. Can't get through to Westlake. Parry on the ball. Barlow. Goodridge. Win. Owen. Again, long range effort. We're playing cautiously, but realistically we don't need to. So we're going to now change that to balance and just go a little bit further up the pitch. They're now playing in a more attacking mentality. That's fine. They can come onto us. It'll create us more space. Win into Owen. Westlake. Oh. Unfortunately, can't get his shot buried into the net. That's half time. Let's get into the dressing room. I mean, we could definitely be doing better. I think we're doing well, but we could definitely find another gear to take charge of this match. I think that's exactly what we're going to say. We're not going to change anything. We don't need to make any changes in this game so far. We are giving the second string or the youth, if you like, a bit of a run out, especially at these early stages of the cup. And at this early stage of the season, we don't want to risk any fatigue or injuries. Owen into Gwyn. Hughes back to Gwyn. Just playing around nice. Oh, Owen with a long range effort. Not enough power behind it though. Elliot smothers it and gets rid. Into Parry. Goodridge. Just literally zipping it around. Tiki tack of football. Owen's in. It should be two. There we go. Second goal of the afternoon. Well done, Mr. Owen. Gwyn with an assist. It was just tiki tack of football. Absolutely fantastic. It was like Arsenal back in the day when they just tried to pass it into the net. But we've got Owen to finish off the chance. Let's bring off Westlake as he is absolutely knackered. We'll bring on Max Moore. And we'll, we'll keep Owen on for his hat trick. Hopefully he can get that. We'll take off Goodridge and we'll bring on Heisman just so both of them have had a little bit of a rest as well. moved Gwyn into the more holding role with the deep laying playmaker and put Heisman in his typical centre attacking midfield role. Well, not centre attacking midfield, but an attacking midfielder role. The build-up of our players when we're playing against a team like this. Owen's in for his hat-trick. Oh, just goes wide. The, the build-up play that we have, we just pass it around like it's nothing. We just zip that ball around and it's fantastic to see. I wonder why the Langefni fans come out in force now. If you remember rightly, in the season one, we had hardly any fans. Oh, no one's got his hat trick. There we go. I didn't want to take him off before he's got it, but he's now got his hat trick. Fantastic performance from him this afternoon. Proving why he shouldn't just be forgotten about in our squad. He's still more than capable to get the job done when called upon. I think we'll take him off now, though, however, that he's got his hat trick. And we'll bring on Sprouse just to see if he can score a couple as well to keep his momentum going forward into the next few league games. Lovely performances throughout the whole squad, really. All greens. Lewis Owen got an absolute 10 out of 10 performance. So fantastic from him this afternoon. Oh, we've conceded. That's not... That's not really what we want to see. Against a team like this, a clean sheet would have been nice. It would have been nice for Steve Jones to kept a clean sheet as well. We don't really press him. That's the problem. Look, no one's closed him down. To give his makers a space, of course he's going to take the shot. And Steve Jones just can't get across quick enough to save that. Mm, hmm, disappointing, really, in the grand scheme of things. Sprouse with a loose ball. Gives the opposition the possession. They're just passing it around nicely. They're through again. Is it going to be two? Thank God for that. It wasn't three two. That would have been nervous in the last few minutes of the game. 80 minutes played. We'll drop it back down to a cautious approach now. We don't need to go all over it. We'll also bring the tempo down slightly. We don't need to be trying to do everything we can to get onto these balls. Heisman there. Oh, it just hits the post. Just hits the post. That would have wrapped up the game. The next goal really is going to be a make or break if they score it's going to be a bit squeaky bum time in the last few minutes a free kick here oh but Davies 
Davies? Jones saves it. I was going to say, if it was Davies, he wouldn't have saved it. Jones gets across and saves that well. We've got a bit of a dilemma here with Jones and Davies because now that we're in this league, they're both actually deemed at the same ability. And I'll show you something after the game, which I'm not too sure who to play and who to start. Because they're very, very similar. And I think Steve Jones actually beats Davies in a few areas. And the other ones they tie on. So I don't know whether to just go with Jones in goal and, and drop Davies down to the bench. There we go. That's 3-1. Fantastic performance by the lads. Was against a much lower opposition. But a win is a win. If we can keep the confidence and the mood going, then we are going to hopefully... I say hopefully, fingers crossed, moment to keep the momentum going into the next league game. What a great goal Lewis Owen scored today. He's pulled off a massive moment for the team and showed his quality. Another what a great goal for Lewis Owen scored today. A truly superb long range effort. It was a quality goal from a quality player. But let me show you what I was talking about in that game with Steve Jones and Jack Davies. So if we go compare, click Jack Davies... As we can see, the only thing that Jack Davies is better than Steve Jones by one point is shot stopping. Other than that, Steve Jones is better at physical, better at distribution, better at diving, his reflexes, better communication. They're exactly the same mental, exactly the same speed and exactly the same aerial. So I don't know whether it's worth playing Steve Jones in goal instead of Jack Davies. Just give him a bit of a run out. He's got three cons to his name. Currently operating at a north-south. Davy fits more into a secondary social group. He's very one-footed. Potential to be a Premier League goalkeeper, which we know. Both of them will have that pro. And cons currently operating at north-south again, though. Where he's very one-footed. So I don't know whether to have him play or not, to be honest. It's a mystery. I've received 1.8k. Lovely. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave it there. And the next time that I speak to you will be our game against Cardiff Met University and Barry. I will skip again one game in between. I think what I'll do is I'll skip one game every two games for now. And then when we get to the mini leagues, maybe do where we done last time where we skipped two or three. Because you would have already seen us play them game. That way, at least, we're still getting through it quite quick we're still seeing quite a lot of the action but i hope you've enjoyed thank you very much for watching please leave a like if you haven't already subscribe if you're new around here in the comment section below let me know what i should do with the goalkeepers should i play steve jones more or should i play and stick with jack davies i fear the goalkeeper position may let us down slightly going forward i'm not too sure we've already improved the defense do we need to improve the goalkeeper spot or do we just go with what we've got but thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you in the next one Bye bye. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say.